Okay, you demanded it. We are back with more Silver Bayonet. This time we're going to be covering the campaign game rules for um, revealing hidden units and patrols, especially for Delta Force. Um, this is a you know part of the campaign scenario rules, so that starts on page 19 of the book. The specific rules for the hidden movement, I don't want to go too much into them, but basically the um, North Vietnam player can put out these uh, hidden movement markers okay, that function just like normal counters. You can also put out dummy counters where your opponent doesn't know that. Now, the solitaire rules that you can print out um, cover this a little bit differently, but basically you can put this out, and then there's a separate board that you'll see here in a little bit uh, where you put the units in the square that matches the counter here. Now, this is Delta Force, okay, and this unit is allowed to attempt an observation, okay, uh, during the... Uh, American player turn, there's a little section called first observation phase, and uh, on step eight you can place or move patrol markers, and then you can roll for observation for patrol markers. So uh, for Delta Force, they're pretty good. They can, uh, they have a lot of lenient rules in terms of where they can place these. So basically you take your Delta patrol marker, the number in the middle is the I always lose my tweezers at the start of these videos. The number in the middle is the number of hexes out that it can try to expose uh, hidden hidden units, and uh, it's there's no you don't use movement points or anything. It's just four hex like a spoke on a wheel. Uh, so that part's pretty easy. Now there's a few different units that can place patrol markers, but I picked Delta Force because they're the easiest to use. Um, Delta and the one ninth patrol markers can be placed in any hex. Um, you can only place these markers, of course, uh, if the associated company is on, is in a, on K, the Brigade HQ hex, or a Special Forces Camp hex. If both the patrol marker and the associated one ninth company are on the map, the patrol can only be removed or placed in a hex within six movement points of the associated company. Uh, and I think, yeah, that's only for one ninth. Okay, one ninth patrol markers. Yeah, they have a a little bit of a different rule there for the one ninth, which is, I'm not sure who the one ninth was. Might be a different, I have to look that up. That's my bad, I actually didn't look that up. Now these patrol markers represent like uh, small inserted hunter killer strike teams designed to find the enemy so that they can be engaged. Now these markers cannot be stacked. They can't be put next to each other. And you cannot put them in a hex in a hex with an enemy unit. So I'm assuming this is a legal move to put this right here. And there's a reason why I want it set up like this. Now, patrol markers can make or assist in one attempt to observe a hidden movement marker within their patrol radius. The patrol the patrol's radius is counted in hexes, not including the patrol's hex. The radius of the patrol is shown in each marker, which we already talked about. They can also attempt to observe a hidden movement marker that was the target of a failed helicopter observation attempt earlier that turn. This observation attempt is made in a similar manner. A uh, patrol marker that assists in an observation role for another patrol gets a negative one DRM and cannot itself attempt an observation. Now, if we reveal an enemy unit, here's the cool part. Unless he's fatigued, I can immediately move the company associated with the marker into the patrol marker's hex. Now there's some restrictions. Um, Delta Force is the most uh, flexible on this. They can use non-road non ground movement if they're able to reach the hex, or they can use helicopter transport regardless of location on the map. So a helicopter could load it up along the way, which is kind of neat. The 1 9th has some restrictions. Uh, and so does the CIDG, but we're not talking about those right now. When using ground or helicopter movement, all normal movement rules apply. So it's kind of neat. You can actually then, if you reveal someone, you can immediately make a move. And it's tough here because you've got, uh, I lost my movement chart. Uh, never prepared. There we go. It's tough here because you've got the heavy jungle 
or as they say, dense jungle and you've got light jungle and movement cost is three and then two. I think they can do that. Remember your movement allowance is the last number here. Look at that freaking big fat efficiency rating. Eight, baby. That is sweet. So, you know, you're looking um, to go here. It would be three and five. So technically, if I pull this off, I should be able to immediately make a move, join up with the hunter killer team, and then we can see what's going on here. Okay, how do you observe? Well, let's find out. Now, I do want to point out one thing. Um, normally, uh, when an American unit moves adjacent to a hidden hidden unit, there's an ambush roll, rule. Um, like, say I'm trying to... Oh, do I have any normal military out? No, I don't. Say I move a normal unit next to this. I would be, I could be subject to an ambush, but Delta Force does not have to deal with that. So I get around that. And that's another reason I wanted to put them in there. It should also be noted that these patrol markers can be attacked, but not bombarded. So they, these can be attacked, and then there's a special die roll you have to make to see if the marker is withdrawn successfully from the map. Uh, and attacking units can advance into that hex, so um, just a heads up. There's some other little rules in that. You want to see 16.5.2.4 on page 26. Okay, to resolve the patrol, you're going to want to see the terrain effects chart. I'm going to see if I can get this in here. Ooh. Light jungle and this four five. See this up here, observation put aerial or patrol. Patrol is the second, the number after the slash. So we have a five in there. All right, so you need to get equal to or less than that number. I don't think we have any die roll modifiers. Let me just check. Uh, minus one per adjacent friendly occupied hex. No. And we are assisting another patrol marker. No. Okay, so I don't think we have any rolls there. Now, I might cheat a little bit here. I'm going to roll it the first time and see if I can reveal this unit, but I do want you to see what's in that thing because I've secretly hidden it, but uh, so I'll, I'll work on revealing that, but let's roll and see what, what happens here. Ugh. Let's see what I get naturally. Five or less. There you go. And it does say if the roll is equal to or less than the number listed for the train type, any hidden, hidden units are revealed. And that is 16.2. So I actually got that legally. Hey, maybe my maybe I'm picking up a little bit. Um, okay. All right, we know he's got something out there. We've got contact, right? All right, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Two VC units right there. We're going to take those, swivel this back for you. This will come out. And there's also a rule on this is placed on the turn record track further down, so they don't get to just keep that and put it back out right away. And we're going to put these out here. It's within legal stacking rules. There's a one, two total. I'll put that right there and that's revealed. I don't remember, let me see what the rules are for that. Okay, it looks like we'll take this marker. There's a few rules. Um, it says uh, non-ambush markers are placed one turn ahead on the game information display. So this will go one turn ahead. There's some other rules for if you do um, a hospital, uh, things like that, they get like 10 down and you, or five down. You can also, Roll if you roll a one on the observation, a natural one, the marker gets not ten game turns ahead because you rolled so awesome. So that'll be put on the turn record track and will not be available right away. All right, now as I read earlier, um, page twenty six, uh, if a patrol reveals an enemy unit, the FWA player that would be the Americans or Arvin uh, may, unless you're fatigued, and remember if you're fatigued, there's a lot of stuff you can't do. So that would be through some other results. So if, if the Delta Force was fatigued, you wouldn't be able to do this, but they're fine here. Okay. Uh, unless they're fatigued, may use non-ground movement if able to reach the hex, or may use helicopter transport regardless of the location on the map. I'm sorry, I read that wrong. Non-road ground movement. Okay, so this would be just like a normal move. Uh, you're looking at It'd be cool if they had like, uh, they could move a lot better in the jungle. Um, so the movement cost, you're looking at three for that. Then light jungle is two. All right. And four, five, perfect. Then things will continue. There's a, let me see what else there is. Concealment, there's also a final observation phase. 
Uh, you do reinforcements, concealment, movement, combat declaration, offensive bombardment, combat reaction. Uh, then there's a final observation phase. And if it's the North Vietnamese player, there's a final concealment phase. Uh, conceal units not adjacent to enemy units and not within patrol radius. So I know you're thinking, oh, the concealment's coming up. They can just conceal again. No, they can't. So uh, the patrol, very powerful weapon here. Now, I'm not sure Delta Force is too happy about finding these VC. Um, pretty even combat there. That would be an interesting combat. Yeah, I think to me, it still feels like they might be outnumbered here. I don't know, it's tough. That would be an interesting fight, huh? Okay, um, of course they could also call in air power, so who knows, who knows, right? Because the offensive bombardment phase comes up a little bit later on. Okay, that is a cool thing called patrols. There's a little, you know, there's check your crib notes. There's a few little, you know, wacky little rules in there for the other things um, that don't just apply to Delta Force. So, but that is the gist of it and how you want to try to expose uh, hidden units. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, nice tight short video here. Appreciate it. Thanks. What distance? What distance? Papa, this is Delta Papa 3. Oh, they are just